Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to discuss the last but not the least claret equation. So, the scenario of this lecture would be what is claret's equation followed by the solution of claret's equation and how we can solve examples of claret's equations. Okay? So, let us start with the Claret equation first. So what is Claret equation? So I am going to start with the definition. This 4 indicates in method number 4. So the equation of the form, the equation of the form y is equal to px plus y is equal to px plus f of p is is called as is called as claret's equation simple is called as claret's equation okay so the equation of the form like this is the claret equation so whenever you find some equation of the type like this then you just uh, do the uh, just identify the given equation is a claret equation if it is of the form like this now we are interested in the equa uh, solution of the claret equation so if you can see that we have learned three different methods so this is y is equal to function of x and p. So what you can do? You can apply the equation soluble for y. Okay. I can directly tell you that uh, if this is the equation, then you just have to put p is equal to this and that's over. Okay. But I'm going to derive the proof of this for the extra knowledge. Okay. So let us see here. So uh, say this is to be equation 1. So differentiating differentiating equation 1 with respect to x with respect to x okay now when you differentiate it with respect to x it is dy by dx is equal to first function derivative of second plus second function derivative of first okay plus what is differentiation of this with respect to x derivative of f of p is f dash of p into dp by dx what is dy by dx that's p p is equal to p plus here what is common x plus f dash of p into dp by dx right into dp by dx p minus p get cancel so you can write like x plus f dash of p into dp by dx is equal to 0 simple so x plus f dash of p into dp by dx is equal to 0 that is the what that is what we are getting it okay now we are interested in getting the solution of this given equation so obviously this won't give me a solution okay or if uh, so what what will give you us a solution is this okay so you can write implies dp by dx is equal to 0 on integrating we get on integrating we get what we get after integrating this p is equal to c very simple p is equal to c we will get after integrating it so what you need to do put this p over here putting p is equal to c in equation 1 we get so what we get we get y is equal to cx plus 
f of c this is the solution of claret equations meaning thereby if you have any equations which is of the form like y is equal to px plus f of p without any second thought you just have to put p is equal to constant and that would be your solution so in most of the competitive examination equation on this is given to you claret equation and uh, student go on uh, solving the entire thing like uh, differentiating with respect to x and then this and that and they write the solution so this takes time okay but if your concepts are clear you can directly write oh this is claret equation okay put p is equal to constant and you get the solution i have used here p is equal to c when you appear for the online examination or the competitive examinations you might see uh, p is equal to a p is equal to b any constant okay so don't bother about it because one arbitrary constant can be replaced by another arbitrary constant simple okay so let us take one simple example on this claret's equation so we are going to take a one problem or if you want we can take two problems on this because uh, these problems are very simple right so let me take an example Sol, sol y is equal to sol y is equal to it's not a y it's p so p is equal to log of p x log of p x minus y okay. So this is the problem we have and one more problem let me take uh, here example number two solve y is equal to px plus pq so these are the problems we have with us okay so this is the problem so before we take the second problem i think we should solve the first problem that is the easy and uh, very simple to start with so let us take example number uh, two first so we can write like the given equation is the given equation is so what is this given equation this given equation is this y is equal to px plus pq okay so you can write this is claret's claret's equation claret's equation of the form of the form what is it y is equal to px plus f of p okay so put put y is equal to c in one we get what we get we get sorry not y p p equal to c so put y uh, p equal to c in equation one we get y is equal to cx plus cq this is this is the required this is the required solution very simple problem now look at this problem why i have to uh, why i am taking this to be later on because uh, we need to do some uh, arrangement and then you can think of this most of the student feel like this is not a claret equation and they just uh, start by solving by p and then they uh, like we are not able to solve the problem okay but this is not that uh, difficult just see here, yeah? the given equation is, the given equation is, what is it? P 
is equal to log of px minus y. Simple. Okay. Now, just remove this log by taking exponentiation. So, this is e to the power p is equal to log and exponentiation get cancelled px minus y. So, take this y to the left. So, this is y is equal to px and they take this to be on the right. So, this is e to the power. This is, this is Claret's equation. This is Claret's equation of the form. This is Claret's equation of the form. What is it? Y is equal to Px plus F of P. So, put put p is equal to c in 1 we get we get y is equal to cx minus e to the power c this is the required solution okay although the problems are very simple but the matter of writing is very important, okay? Write the things in a systematic way. It shows you are confident enough to deal with such things, okay? It shows confidence. So, these are the two problems that we have taken. Now, some more problem I can give you. So, let me give you one problem as I try this. Solve y is equal to px plus tan inverse of p okay so this is the problem you have for the uh, try this so think over it and you can write down the solution of this problem on the comment box okay so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you very much